blue face up on trial man this shrewd news and reviews man you know how we do yeah we got to talk about it man blue face uh just got sentenced for that las vegas incident where he let that thing ring and <laughs> looks like he's gonna fumble the bag a little bit because he ain't like the way a nigga talk how many mm. times have we heard about this now i'm gonna lay out some facts first and then we could begin to opine from there but right. there's a little little nuance to this story now it's not just so simple he just let the thing ring now what we learned today is he's going to get put on papers for up to three years he has a, <laughs> a, a suspended sentence of right. 24 to 60 months so they don't intend for his ass to do no time but the judge right. did let his ass know sternly I'm not scared to send you to prison for a significant amount of time if you're not going to comply with the conditions of the probation, something right. you're familiar with, I'm familiar with. Of course. You really course. don't want to be violated. You don't want to be violated. But hold on. Before we get too deep into it, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that like oh, that's button. That's important. That's in the algorithm. Man, we trying to reach more people and, you know, let them see this content. But, yeah. um, yeah, yeah so, back, so back, blue back face, to yeah. it. You uh, were say, you were saying how uh Blueface is familiar with this probation. Uh no, nah, I was saying you familiar with probation. Yeah, I'm familiar man. with the probation. Yeah, we familiar with the probation. Do you feel like this probation was a uh, you know you got the bag? Well, type we'll get to that, that, sir. Let's lay finish laying out the facts, as I said, and we could get into the questions after that. All right. They said that he can't have a firearm or be around anybody with a firearm big crib that's impossible big crib got some enemies out there he just got stabbed when he was in the gym but now he can't even be around nobody with firearms. How you know somebody <laughs> what I'm, I'm t this is public information right but i'm saying they have to put some kind of restrictions because what if i'm around somebody listen that I, I, yeah. watch, I watch the court proceeding they ain't mentioned none of that <laughs> <laughs> silly shit you talk about they say yes yeah, have a gun and you be around somebody with a gun yes yeah, going to jail that's what they told him they also right. said no drugs or alcohol and something i thought was interesting is they want him to give the passwords to his phones and his computers anything with a storage device on it they want the passwords to it and they want to be able to search it with or without a warrant thought that was a little interesting um another thing is he can't have interaction with the victim, Contavious Trailer, or his family. That's the guy who he grazed in the left hand. Bow, bow. I don't know how many shots it was, but the nigga did get grazed. We got to see his testimony of what he said. We're going to see a little crazy. bit of what he said, but where, I, where I come from, everything is grazed if your ass ain't get killed. <laughs> I don't know how any, anything that you survived, you got grazed. But uh, I don't know the significance or the you know yeah how far his injuries went. Um the 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 victim did say something to the effect of uh you know he knows people that got more time for still a bubble girl. So he had a <laughs> lot to say about Blueface on the uh stand, which I thought was a little wild. He bold, he's still you can tell he's still. Hey, he's there's not gonna be a relationship that. here. He These are guys charged. are not gonna bury the hatchet because he got some charges, uh, as they said. Well, he might have some charges because you know there's two sides to the story, right? Uh, what they're saying, I'll read a, a quote here. You feel me? Before we get into the opinions, I'm gonna read a quote of what they said, uh, how the incident started. They said the shooting happened at the shooting happened at Euphoric Gentlemen's Club in Las Vegas in, on October of 2022. Trailer had reportedly made a bad joke about Blueface that the rapper didn't appreciate. That's when a crew of people from Blueface's camp attacked Trailer and hit him several times. Taylor left, so did Blueface and company. And Blueface's uh, defense says that the guy rolled up to them slow, brandished the pistol, and then uh, tried to flee the scene and hit some other people. And that's when Blueface opened fire on his ass. So we got a little bit of video 
you want to go to what his lawyers are talking about you want to go right to cuz because cuz had a lot to say he got a little spicy yeah yeah uh yeah let's go to what he was saying and then all we'll right, all right. we're gonna start him at like 619. yeah all right here we go here's oh one thing you need to do before yeah, buying yeah. anything online yeah. don't spend don't another dime premium, on amazon bro. until you watch this oh, first. All right. Testimony day, uh swear you wait before you take Thank you, right hand. If you do solemnly swear the testimony of Oscar Nisak, you shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth shall be God. Yes, ma'am. Please state your full name, spelling your first and last name for the record. Kentavious Trailer, K E N T A B as in boy, I U S, last name Trailer, T R A Y L O R. And Mr. Trailer, what is your testimony today? <clears throat> so, first of all, I just want to start by saying thank you, Judge. Um, I'm just completely disappointed in this complete process, actually. Uh, from the DA to his representation to him to everything. Uh, it's just all been a complete drop of the ball on my end. Um, he means their end, but uh, I have complete <laughs> lost faith in the justice system. Uh, yeah, uh, this, this crime has done nothing but take a toll on my life since the day it happened. I haven't been able to get work. Everything has gone down the drain. Um, and yeah, I just feel like this this has not been done on my case. I mean, this hasn't been done on my behalf. Uh, I know people who get more time for stealing bubble gum, honestly. I know people who do more time for stealing TVs than they do for shooting somebody. Um, I'm just completely disappointed in all of this. Uh, yeah, I, I hate the way my name was ridiculed in the social media before I could even find out about it. Like I said, just this complete process has been a complete drop of the ball. Yeah, it, that, that's all I got to say about it. It's a complete drop of the ball, and that's it. It is what it is. And Mr. Trailer, I, I, I really appreciate you expressing mm -hmm. the frustrations that you have, and I know that the outcome here today will change that because mm -hmm. what the negotiation is um, has. I want that boy getting no deal. Really yeah, but even even that, like I said, I feel like those terms and conditions. I know people. I know myself included would have more than that for domestic violence for this or that he has this going over multiple states multiple this multiple that <laughs> you guys are arguing semantics on can he come here to make money and so he doesn't deserve to be here he doesn't deserve to be out and walking around he doesn't deserve any of that honestly <laughs> but because he has a little bit of money and a little bit of a name you guys are going to give him that and that's okay but well, just at the end of the day like i said i just want to say my piece and like I said, I'm completely disappointed in all of this. All of this. Mr. So. Chiller, I'm not yeah, trying to he'll, he'll the blue face. I'm not having a dialogue with you here. I'm just trying to give you the wrap up here. That we are going to conclude this case. Hey, did you catch that? The judge say, I'm not trying to have a dialogue with you here, nigga. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I appreciate your feelings. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't think we getting into a back and forth. Let's hear out. Hold on. It sounds That's like right. you have another uh, process pending. So yeah, but that has nothing to do with how I feel about okay. this in general. Again, yeah. not a dialogue. Yeah, I'm just okay. sharing some information with you, okay? Uh, I understand that. I'm not trying to convince you of anything different. I'm mm -hmm. trying to tell you that we're going to complete this process here today. Yeah. To the extent that it closes out this process, good or bad, obviously bad from your perspective, mm -hmm. it will close it out. And mm -hmm. I hope that you'll use the other process to uh, find whatever you know relief it is that you are seeking, and not meaning whatever I presuppose any outcome. When she's talking about the other process, the nigga is suing, so he's trying to hit those pockets too. Not only do he want blue face locked up, he trying to touch them pockets a little bit too, just in case. There, you know. But just that there is another avenue, and yeah. the court is um, what's going to act within the parameters of what it has here and bring this matter to a close. But I can assure you, I'm not giving anybody any breaks because of any. Mm -hmm. status they have or money they have i'm working within a system and within a negotiation and i trust my counsel to make negotiations uh, for reasons mm -hmm. and i appreciate that that's not going to sit well with you i just thank you for your time here today and letting us know watch what you do with the phone now yes ma'am because that's important yep thank you mr trailer you may appreciate you see if you blue face with me <laughs> <laughs> now 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 hold on i know you wanted to at uh, this time the court will proceed with the sentencing of mr porter yeah. You probably don't even remember what question you had. What you were saying? You what? was asking something when I was trying to get the facts out. Oh, yeah, I was saying about is this uh is this an issue with the with the yeah, say? Snitching, Bob, of course, but you gotta think 
you know, it goes back to the tax stone Troy Ave debate. Like, is it snitching if niggas is trying to prove self-defense? Y'all both got a pistol case at this point because Blueface's defense was alleging that uh I don't want to give his name wrong, Cantavius brandished a firearm. So yeah. if you in court and you know, you could catch a gun charge. That's what niggas do. They go and start telling on each other. It's like I always tell you, Bob, at some point, you got to tell on a nigga. I mean, I don't know when it's going to be for you or the next thing. I'm glad I ain't been put in that position. But at some point, yeah. you might have to tell somebody something. <laughs> <laughs> it's just how it works. Yeah, it's no. going to be cool be like, oh, no, no snitching by all means. Blah, blah, blah. And then we look and then the paperwork comes out the next week. <laughs> so this right. is another example no and, but and another thing is Blueface's defense was saying that that he yeah. brandished the firearm Blueface chose not to testify but I remember you telling me that a, a defendant or a plaintiff you know is going to be responsible for everything that their lawyer said so you, do course. you consider what Blueface's defense said about him brandishing the firearm is that snitching? Yeah I feel like he I mean <laughs> Yeah, he had the lawyer speak and yeah. you know say, yeah, he did all of this and yeah, and that. And yeah, he ain't say nothing. You bang, you, you blue face. Yeah, you 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 know what I'm saying. You supposed to be, you know, so stupid. That's what they want you to be, blue face. <laughs> they want you to be stupid. They want you to live by the code. Don't say nothing. Just take your ass to jail because you tough. That's how it works. That's why I'm not signing up to be no goddamn. Hey, he signed up for this, though. Yeah, I ain't (laughs) with all that, dog. Listen, if my life on the line and I got to get you, you trying to shoot me and you think I ain't going to try to get you out the way? Mm -hmm. Leave me alone. You don't want to get told on, leave me the hell alone. Now, we doing Mm -hmm. something together. That's a different story. But if it come down to me or you, it's going to be you every time, nigga. I don't (laughs) care about no no street code yeah. or what they talk about on Twitter. Something else I want to show you. You heard Cuz talk about how he want Blueface to get locked up, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this here, Cuz. When he took that picture, this is what the picture is. Can you see that? Yeah, what did it say? School y'all, have, y'all, y'all can yeah. have the internet. I ain't stunting none of y'all. Ain't stunting none of y'all. Headshot, headshot, headshot. And, and, and he said uh, and F what well, let me let me scroll up to the front to the title. He said, and F that bad built Humpty Dumpty lookalike in the back. Because if you look closely in this Twitter picture, it's Jaden, Blueface's baby mama, putting the middle finger up at him when he's trying to get the selfie in the courtroom. And he put an F you the schoolyard <laughs> crip on there with the thumbs down. So this is a brazen victim we're talking about. And Keep in mind, the judge has said that Blueface can't have any contact with him or his family. But this man is antagonizing Blueface online. Mm, mm, that's how you look at it, huh? Yeah. I mean, how else could you look at it? It says F schoolyard crib. Uh, he's saying headshot, headshot, headshot. There's a, I mean, this guy's <laughs> good at social media. He done made a little. Yeah, uh, the little graphic live with that, with the, yeah, a little, little He's live nice video, a little moving picture with the 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 finger pistol pointed at blue mm-hmm. face. So this guy's savvy. I, I don't even think I would have came up with nothing like that. You know. So yeah, how do you feel about that? I don't know if he's. I mean, it's a post. How do you take it? If it's a, threat? I mean, it's from his Twitter. I mean, it opposes. I mean, if you want to call it X, this could be a tweet yeah. or an excretion, as some are calling it. I don't know, yeah. whatever yeah. you want to call it. But this is this is something he posted, apparently. Yeah, yeah. It's, but it's I don't that. know if he's antagonizing him. But if that is cyber, I guess that is what cyber he is. Uh, it's a cyber thing. Seems like poking the bear. I mean, you yeah. you saying f a whole organization. A whole nation just then i don't i don't think blue faces people or him is going to take kindly to that he's no. disparaging the man's he's baby trying to get clout i think he's just trying, he's trying to, get to get we clout. all trying to get clout but mm-hmm. it just it just muddies the water if you ask me yeah which blue face ain't supposed to be saying nothing to him interacting with him no can't send no messages to him that could violate his probation so i guess he gotta suck it up paul if the nigga doing shit like this online I'm uh-huh. sure he's gotten dragged online as well. Blueface is famous, got more uh influence than this young man, Contravius trailer, Contavious trailer. So 
I'm sure he's been dragged through the mud as well, but it just – that's a little touchy situation. This is somebody who obviously don't have a lot of impulse control, blue face I'm talking about. So, you know, how is he going to react to this? Right, right. Well, I don't know. Hey, y'all let us know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Is this is this below the belt by him doing his little post? Probably might get another 100,000 followers of blue face haters. You I know, know this nigga has a hundred thousand <laughs> followers. But yeah, but, man, y'all uh, chime in on the comments, man. Let us know yeah. what you think. And if you feel like we we got the wrong perception of this, you know, let us know. I mean, it looks like uh 45.9k views, uh everyday niggatry, if you ask me. I mean <laughs> for real. So <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing, hey. nothing special. <laughs> nothing special, man. Cultural commentary, but hey man, y'all know how to support us. Hit them like buttons, comment, man. Put us on the algorithm, and we'll catch you on the next. Anything you want to leave them with, Cal? Yeah, tell them niggas stay shrewd, man. Yeah. Stay shrewd right. out there. That's stay the main thing you do, street. man. Till the next time, folks. <laughs>